Hey everyone, how are you doing? Today I'm going to show you how you can create a fitness tracking application. And today I'm going to just discuss about uh, the angle tracking part. Like you know, you can, uh, you can just track the angles for your hips, elbows, shoulders and so on. And also creating custom points using post, uh, post detection. Right, we are going to use media pipe. And let me just show you the final output and then I'll dive deep into the code. So this is the final output we got uh, in here. We, are, we have created some custom new points, custom points on the neck or uh, here and like uh, a custom point here as well. And we're uh, tracking the angles for your elbows, for your knees, and you can customize further, like depending on the workout, you can actually track your hip angles or even your uh, shoulder angles and things like that. It's just, uh, you have to just change a few lines of code for every one of those. And then uh, probably in the next few videos, I'll be uh, discussing about how to translate this on uh, creating a push-up uh, counter or like something like uh, a pull-up counter and things like that. And maybe I will uh, just port it uh, uh, to Streamlit or, uh, or to a different platform altogether. So we will just see you know, how you guys respond upon this and then I'll see how to create future tutorials or not. So let's just dive uh, deep into the code. So I'm gonna use media pipe. Uh, if you don't know how to install media pipe, it's fairly simple. You just have to press keep install media pipe. So if you already have it, uh, it's gonna be really simple. Uh, it's gonna just download a bunch of stuff. And this code is mainly inspired from like, I, I took the basic code and, and just, you know, manipulated it a bit. I uh, just made few changes. So yeah, let's just dive into the code. We are going to import uh, OpenCV, MediaPipe, NumPy, and uh, a time as well for you know, having that FPS counter, right? We don't need math. Uh, and this is one of my old uh, projects. This is something I've done probably in a year ago or so. I just wanted to revisit it and see if I could create a quick tutorial on this. I hope you guys like it, yeah? So we are going to create a parser in which we have a bit of parameters uh, of a uh, uh, parameter for video output, detection confidence, tracking confidence and complexity. So the def detection confidence, I'm going to put it to 0 0.5, the tracking also 0 0.5. Uh, the complexity in media pipe, there are three different models, uh, 0, 1, 2. I have already mentioned it. Uh, so zero is a model which gives you the results quicker, but it comes with the cost of accuracy. So depending on the workout type, I would suggest you guys to mess around with the models and see what works best for you. Okay. And then we are just going to uh, create a variable for defining this uh, parcel. And then I created a variable for uh, a custom line color. I, I wanted to go with a plain white. You guys can obviously check around and different with different uh, colors and see what was, uh, works best for you. And I created a variable for time and some of bunch of variables for drawing utensil, uh, utils. These are all already available with media pipe. And now created a function for calculating the angle. So this is the main part of this where you are going to calculate the angles. Taking three different points, right? Um, so if you're going to calculate an angle for the uh, elbow, it's going to take the point for shoulder, your elbow, and your wrist. So that's how it's gonna do this. Uh, similarly for your, if you're gonna uh, calculate, like you, have, you want to calculate your angles for knees, uh, or your count for knees, you have to calculate your hip angle, your uh, knee angle, and your foot angle. So that's, uh, that's about it. So that's how I'm calculating it. I'm using the radians uh, and calculating that. And I'm just mention, uh, making sure that, you know, if the angle is above 180, it will be just uh, reduced to 180. Like, you know, so everything is in the uh, scale of uh, 0 to 180. Okay. So I'm just, we're going to keep some custom colors, uh, which uh, I, I just uh, kept as the white color, right? And the detection confidence and the tracking confidence as well. Where we, went, uh, we have already mentioned those. Okay, the complexity. And we are using a, uh, you can use any custom video want. Uh, I'm going to keep the default as uh, probably a squats video. 
okay i have one here called squats.mp4 so we could go with that uh, once we are done we are just taking the values of uh, the width height and the uh, fps of the input video okay we're just mentioning the in the minimum detection confidence all the parameters okay and we are also mentioning a condition that if now if you haven't retrieved the video successfully just break the loop and you know come out of the loop just stop the program altogether and in media pipe uh, so when you are taking video or in image with open cb it is always converted into bgr but for media pipe we need it in rgb format so we are just uh, converting the image into the rgb format we are grabbing the width and height as well and we are just creating some conditions to see eyes if eyes or shoulders are visible so uh, this is not necessary right now uh, this is something for the future code okay and now we are going to just uh, extract all the values from the pose estimation so let me just grab the pose estimation uh, photo let me see i have it okay so in pose estimation so these are all the values we get so we can uh, grab some of these values and we are gonna uh, actually reduce the visibility of the eyes uh, ears and uh, and the nose okay i'll be just showing you that code as well so we are just taking the landmarks so you can take the landmarks from results.pose landmarks dot landmark and that and from there you can just uh, grab the values you want so for left tie so landmarks mp pose dot landmark left value dot x and y we are taking the x and y value similarly for the right eye the sh left shoulder right shoulder elbow wrist and so on okay and we are just going to make uh, the eyes nose and ear values zero because we are not going to use those and they actually kind of you know uh, ruin the output sometimes so if you want more of a clear and crispier output that's what i do i just uh, reduce the visibility of the left eye uh, the right eye and the ear and the nose as well okay and then we we can check if you want uh, whether uh, like uh, you can check if the visibility is zero or not and things like that as well and now we are going to start with creating custom point okay uh, where um, so in the output video if you have seen we, are, we have a new custom point here whereas in the normal pose estimation output you don't uh, usually get those in the normal pose estimation output i i think i have we you get an uh, uh, you get the pose like this you don't get a point here we are just creating a custom point here here and here so we are just going to code for that it's fairly simple okay uh, you just create a midpoint uh, in which uh, you are taking the shoulder left the shoulder right uh, for the x value okay you are calculating it the width and dividing it by 2 you are just calculating the shoulder left x value the shoulder right x value and with the image width and dividing it by 2 you get the midpoint shoulder x value and similarly for the midpoint shoulder y value you are taking the left shoulder y value the left shoulder right value uh, y value right shoulder y value calculating it with image height and dividing it by 2 and similarly you are doing the same for midpoint hip and uh, midpoint uh, or for the midpoint hip as well and similarly you are going to do the same uh, to get the midpoint you are going to take these two midpoints and so you got the midpoint for shoulder the midpoint for hip so to get the midpoint in the middle you're going to take these two midpoints and calculate them uh, divide them by two as well and yeah that's how uh, it's fairly simple now you're going to cali calculate the angles so what kind of angle you're going to calculate upon so if you are going to only uh, go with something really basic like i did you want to only calculate the elbow uh, the elbow angle and the leg angle the knee angle you are going to do that so for the left arm angle we already created a function called calculate angle so we are going to take left shoulder left elbow left wrist you can see those uh, have already defined this here so the shoulder is uh, left shoulder right and similarly shoulder r is right shoulder okay and uh, similarly for the right uh, right arm angle we are going going to do the same shoulder right elbow uh, right and wrist right for the left uh, 
leg angle we are going to go for left hip left knee left ankle right uh, right leg angle you are going to go for right hip right knee right ankle so similarly you, if you are going to go for push ups or you know, some different exercises you could go for different angles you are going to go for hip calculating angle you you should make, uh, make sure that the hip is in the middle part so you could take the shoulder shoulder as one point and the angle as other part as well so it depends on what kind of angle you are calculating about to keep it really simple i'm just doing with going with this okay and we are getting the midpoint values as well uh, uh and we are uh, reducing the, uh, actually i kind of uh, uh, even re remove the left shoulder value as well the visibility of left shoulder and created a new line for every of the every one of these so i created a neck point which uh, as you can see it's a it's an uh, it's from this uh, from nose to uh, middle point of the shoulder and i'm kind of creating a kind of slant line from the output you can see that let me show you the output so for this i'm um, uh, i have calculated the middle point shoulder angle and middle point nose angle so you don't have to do this i just did it uh probably for fun back then i so you don't have to actually do that okay and after that uh, i'm just creating a bunch of lines from shoulder to neck okay so we are we are just creating one from left shoulder to uh, left neck okay and similarly shoulder right shoulder to neck point as well so that way you get this uh, slant line i'm talking about if you if you don't you, you don't have to you just so it's, uh, i just made sure that you know everything is really clear with the variable names as well so if you want you can just change the code and repurpose it for your own application and similarly i created a line for hips uh, hip as well and i created a circle point to just uh, focus on that like you no know, uh, create i created a circle point here here and here okay here and here so just to focus on those parts uh, if you don't want you can uh, but to just make sure it it looks really clear i just created circle points there okay and yeah i just i just created a rectangle and showed all the values here so i just created a rectangle uh put the text for like angles okay and the left elbow angle i'm just uh, uh putting the string uh, string value of left arm angle right elbow angle right arm angle left knee angle for the left leg angle and right knee angle and right right leg angle you don't have to worry about uh, too much about the code i'll be sharing it with the github link uh, as well so you don't have to worry i'm just making it like you know really it's it's actually a simple program but it just has a lot of code parts which you could just copy and just change few variable variables with it that's that's about it and now i'm just then converting the rgb value into bgr as well and i'm just showcasing all the outputs if you want you can uh, actually uh, uh you know uh, save the video using the uh, dash out for uh, frame as well so dash output double dash output as well you get you can save the output and similarly you can even change the mode complexity of the model by changing the values here direct while directly running the program as well so you can now uh, see how how to use this so let's say python gym codes.py we uh, have a squat uh, video so let's say squats.mp4 and i want the complexity to be 1 so it will be pretty slow and maybe the detection confidence to be 0.3 and the tracking confidence as uh, also to be 0 0.3 right and you can do that fairly simply so once you uh, press all of that you just give it a mo moment so as the complexity is one we get as accurate uh, estimation but it is pretty slow and if i try the same for complexity zero you don't have to mention the complexity then because the default is already zero so it it goes uh, it's kind of quicker and you can also uh, save this video as well using the output format so yeah the, that's about it it's fairly simple code it's just a bunch of code you know uh, just arranged so that uh, uh, you you get the proper values and everything i'll be sharing this code as well and i ho hope you guys uh, like it and if you want the next part on how to calculate 
how to do this for push up count pull up count and things like that uh, i'll i'll create a code for that as well and if you want to create this in a streamlit application as well do let me know and i hope you guys have a great day uh, do subscribe to my channel and yeah that's about it have a great day guys